In this video, the bayer williger oxidation will be discussed in details. The bayer williger oxidation, also known as the bayer williger rearrangement, was first reported in 1899 by Adolf von Bayer and Victor Williger. Adolf von Bayer was a highly prominent chemist, and in recognition of his services in the advancement of organic chemistry and the chemical industry through his work on organic dyes and hydroaromatic compounds, he was awarded the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1905. bayer williger oxidation is a particular type of a carbonyl oxidation reaction. It features an oxidative cleavage of a carbon-carbon bond adjacent to a carbonyl. The reaction can be carried out with per acids, such as MCPBA, or with hydrogen peroxide and a Lewis acid. Dichloromethane and ether are common solvents used in bayer williger oxidation. As illustrated in this example, the bayer williger oxidation converts ketones to esters. Note that the oxygen atom is selectively incorporated between the cyclohexyl group and the carbonyl group instead of between the methyl group and the carbonyl group. The bayer williger oxidation converts cyclic ketones to cyclic esters, which are also known as lactones. An aldehyde may be oxidized to a carboxylic acid if and when the hydride ion preferentially migrates. In this case, the aryl group with the electronegative halogen substituents has a lower migratory aptitude. Remember, of the two groups attached to the carbonyl carbon, the more electron-rich group tends to migrate. In contrast, in the following reaction, the aldehyde is oxidized to a formate ester as a result of preferential migration of aryl group. Now, let's look at the reaction mechanism. The reaction mechanism shows the step-by-step -step bond breaking and bond forming events that occur as starting materials are converted into products. The initial step involves a favorable associative interaction between the carbonyl oxygen and a Lewis acid, thus yielding an activated resonance stabilized complex wherein the carbonyl carbon is rendered electron deficient. The per acid is sufficiently nucleophilic such that it is capable of attacking the electron deficient carbonyl carbon in the activated intermediate. This results in an unstable tetrahedral intermediate. Deprotonation of this intermediate gives way to a further unstable tetrahedral intermediate, which is sometimes referred to as a Kriegel like intermediate. The next step is generally considered to be the rate determining step. Here, the Krieg intermediate undergoes a rearrangement that consists of simultaneous migration of one of the R groups and elimination of the resonance stabilized anionic carboxylate. Note, the more electron rich R group preferentially migrates since it is more capable of donating electrons and forming a bond to the adjacent electron deficient oxygen atom. Dissociation of the final complex regenerates the Lewis acid and liberates the final product, which is an ester. The reagents which can be employed in bayer williger oxidation include meta chloroperoxybenzoic acid, monoperoxymoleic acid, monoorthoperoxyphthalic acid, trifluoroperoxyacetic acid, keros acid buffered with disodium hydrogen phosphate, magnesium salt of monoperoxyphthalic acid, peroxyacetic acid, potassium peroxa monosulfate, supported on hydrated silica, also known as reincarnated caros acid. 
Sodium per carbonate, hydrogen peroxide with boron trifluoride, Bayer Villiger monoxygenase, which is an enzyme abbreviated as BVMO. Although many peroxy acids can be used in the Bayer Villiger reaction, Trifluoroperoxyacetic acid is one of the most efficient reagents for this rearrangement. The oxidizing power of a Bayer Villiger reagent is related to the strength of the conjugate acid of the living group. Thus, the reactivity order is TFPA, which is more reactive than PMA, MPPA, PNPBA, proxyformic acid, MCPBA, PBA, PAA, hydrogen peroxide, and TBHP. Among this group, ease of handling, oxidizing power, and commercial availability render PAA, MCPBA, and TFPA the most commonly reported organic peroxy acid reagents used in bare vinegar oxidation. Other oxidizing agents must either be prepared or they are less commonly reported for other reasons for using bare vinegar oxidations. Per acids are oxidizing agents and should be used only in a safe working environment by individuals trained in the safe handling of oxidizing agents. Many of the oxidizing agents used in bare vinegar oxidations of ketones will also react with alkenes, amines, sulfides, and selenides. Reagents which feature chemoselective oxidations in the presence of some of these functional groups have been developed. The reactivities of ketones and alkenes with organic peroxy acids are comparable and reagent sensitive. Thus, bare vulgar oxidation competes with epoxidation. The rate difference between the two reactions is not large. This example illustrates chemoselectivity of bare vulgar oxidation. While both the secondary alcohol and the carbonyl may be oxidized, here, only the carbonyl gets oxidized. Furthermore, molecules that contain multiple carbonyl groups may be oxidized with group selectivity. However, in some cases, protection may be needed. The regio selectivity of the reaction depends mainly on the relative migratory ability of the substituents attached to the carbonyl carbon. The order depends on the overall ability of the migrating group to stabilize the electron deficient center of the migratory group as a function of both electronic and steric effects. Relative migratory ability of substituents is tertiary alkyl greater than cyclohexyl, secondary alkyl, benzyl, phenyl, primary alkyl, cyclopropyl, and methyl. In this illustrated example, two different bayer villiger oxidation products will be formed. Based on the relative migratory abilities, one should expect that the cyclohexyl group has a greater tendency to migrate compared to the cyclopropyl group. Thus, the top ester will be the major product, while the bottom ester will be the minor product. Bayer Villiger oxidation is sensitive to both electron donating and electron withdrawing groups attached to the reagents. In terms of per acid considerations, electron withdrawing groups on peroxy acids enhance the rate of the reaction, while electron donating groups slow down the rate of the reaction. 
In terms of ketone or aldehyde concentrations, electron withdrawing groups retard the migration of the substituents, while electron donating substituents enhance migration of the carbon they are attached. And thus, the bayer williger oxidation of unsymmetrical ketones is regioselective. As the bayer williger oxidation is regioselective, the oxygen will be inserted next to the cyclohexyl group. Since the rearrangement is a concerted process, the configuration of the migrating chiral substituent is retained. Similarly, in the following bayer williger oxidation, the preferential migration of more substituted secondary alkyl group is observed without scrambling the stereogenic configuration, and the configuration at the chiral carbon is retained in the product. The oxidations of aldehydes are also possible with bayer williger oxidation. The reaction of aldehydes may give either carboxylic acids or formate esters. In the latter case, alcohols and formic acids may be formed due to the hydrolysis of unstable formate esters under the reaction conditions. In the example, the aldehyde group is oxidized to a carboxylic acid due to preferential migration of the hydride ion. The aryl group with electronegative halogen substituents has lower migratory aptitude. In the following reaction, the aldehyde is oxidized to deformate ester due to the preferential migration of aryl group, but it undergoes hydrolysis under the reaction conditions to yield a phenol. This overall transformation is similar to that of Dacon reaction. The Dacon reaction enables the preparation of phenols from aryl aldehydes or ketones via oxidation with hydrogen peroxide in the presence of a base. The ester formed as an intermediate is subsequently hydrolyzed to yield the substituted phenol product and a carboxylic acid byproduct. Ortho or para substituents such as amino and hydroxy groups favor this reaction. Aldehydes are easily oxidized and the reaction with hydrogen peroxide usually gives a carboxylic acid. In contrast, electron-rich aromatic aldehydes, such as salicylaldehyde derivatives, commonly undergo the Dacon reaction. In these cases, formation of the ester intermediate is typical as illustrated. Hydrolysis of this ester gives catechol as the final product. More detailed information about both bare villager oxidation and illustrated literature examples can be found in the following references.